This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to In Range. I'm Cameron Harris, and this is episode number 17. Today, we're going to be talking about something that your doctor checks you for every single time you visit them, and that is your A1C. Now, your A1C is sort of a marker in your blood that allows your doctor to see what your average blood sugar readings have been for the last three months, but that's a really simplistic explanation of it. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Your A1C is a marker that's in your blood that carries information about your blood sugar readings for the past three months. And your doctors can use that, and it's a really great way for them to just see big problems. For example, if your blood sugar is constantly high, then your A1C reading is going to be high. If your blood sugar is constantly low, your A1C reading is going to be low. A good A1C number to hope for is around 7. For example, my last blood sugar was 7.2, which means Everything's A-OK. -okay. Things are pretty much always in range. Now keep in mind that your A1C reading is not nearly as accurate as your blood sugar meter that you use every day. Now that's because your A1C is not only affected by your blood sugar readings, but also by things like your age, what equipment is used to actually perform the test, things like that. A lot of these little small changes can make big differences in the resulting number. And that's why your doctor still goes through the big sheet of all your uh, blood sugar tests that you've had for the last three months to look for more specific problems. It's more of just kind of a general, general tool. Also, don't get obsessive about your A1C. It's just a number. If it's 8.6 one month or 6.4 another month, do not get all freaked out about it. it. Again, it's just a number. Work with your doctor to try and get that number back to where you want it to be, but don't lose your head about it. So until next time, if you have any questions or comments for us, just check out our website. That's at www.harwoodpodcast.com. There we have the show notes, the forums. We'll also have a link uh, in the show notes for this episode to a Wikipedia page that has a chart that actually shows you uh, what your average blood sugar is depending on what your A1C reading is. It's kind of a fascinating thing to check out. And if you have any questions or comments for me personally, you can send me an email at harwoodpodcast at comcast.net. I'll catch you guys later, and good luck staying in range. Thank you.